day, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Baseball is the president tossing out the first ball of the season and a scrubby schoolboy school playing catch with his dad on a Mississippi farm. There's a tall, thin old man waving his scorecard from the corner of his dugout. That's baseball. And so is a big, fat guy with a bubble's nose running home one of his 714 home runs. There's a man in Mobile who remembers an honest wagon at a triple in Pittsburgh 46 years ago. That's baseball. And so is a scout reporting that a 16-year-old Sandlot pitcher in Cheyenne is a coming Walter Johnson. Baseball is a spirited race. Man against man, reflex against reflex, a game of inches. Every skill is measured, every heroic, every failing is seen and cheered or booed and then becomes a statistic. In baseball, democracy shines its clearest. The only race that matters is the race of the bag. The creed is a rule book and color merely something to distinguish one team's uniform from another. Baseball is a rookie, his experience no bigger than the lump in his throat as he begins fulfillment of his dream. And it's a banner to a tired old man of 35, hoping that those aching muscles can pull him through another sweltering August and September. Nicknames of baseball, names like Zeke and Kai Kai and Pie and Home Run and Dizzy and Dazzy. Baseball is the clear two lines of Rogers Hornsby, the flashing spikes of a Ty Cobb, and an overage pixie named Rabbit Miranda. Baseball is just a game as simple as a ball and bat, and yet as complex as the American spirit it symbolizes. It's a sport, a business, and sometimes almost even religion. While the fairy tale of Winnie Mays making a brilliant World Series catch and then dashing off to play stick ball in the streets with his teenage pals, that's baseball. And so is a husky voice of a dude, Lou Gehrig, saying, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of this earth. Baseball is cigar smoke. Hot roasted peanuts. Ladies day, down in front, seventh inning stretch. Take me out to the ball game in the Star Spangled Banner. Baseball is a man named Campanella telling the nation business leaders, you have to be a man to be a big leader. But you have to have a lot of little boy in you too. This is a game for America, this baseball. A game for boys and for men. Thank you. God bless you.